Yeah, what's up? Um, so, um, I think I left off at the um, Sable part um, of me liking Sable. You know, um, I thought Sable was pretty cool, a pretty cool woman. Um, at that time, I was still a child. And I, I was just understanding what professional wrestling meant. Um, I was just getting to the groove of professional wrestling and what did it meant to mean to me. Um, as a child, I was only in junior high school man, when I first started watching WWF. And, uh, this is why it hurt me so bad to see what has happened to this current generation of wrestling. Um, the WWF meant power to me. Here I am, 13, 14 years old, looking up to these guys on TV, wishing that I can be like them. And I consider myself one of the hardcore wrestling fans because I came along in 1999. I, I didn't really watch Hogan. I didn't really watch Savage because I was little. And um, I came right along the time when Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and The Rock was um, doing their thing. So... Um, um, I really was getting into the group around the time when Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H was having that rivalry over the WWF title. And um, me and my friends would just, just group up on Monday nights and turn it on the USA Network and just have a party. You know, there was the good old days of good wrestling. Little kids like today don't got good wrestling today. You know, they just don't. So, my mom ordered pizza. We had watched Ross War. And um, at that time, SmackDown was just starting. So, we didn't have UPN. So, the only thing we really had was uh, Monday Night Raw. But I settled for that. You know, I settled for Monday Night Raw. Even though I can watch SmackDown stuff on Livewire. But this was around the time when um, Chris Jericho was just coming on to the scene. And, um, and he was messing with The Rock. And The Rock would talk about the KY Jelly and sticking it straight up your candy ass. Um, the thing is about me, um, if I liked something on TV, I had to get a toy. I had to go get action figures. Maybe from Walmart or something. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> that's what I did with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If I liked it, I was gonna go get the toy. So, um, I collected all the WWF gear. I had Stone Cold Steve Austin shirts. I had Stone Cold Steve Austin toys. I had the wrestling ring. I had the classic Titan Tron. I had the Rock the Brahma Bull shirt. Um, I was a big fan of, um, Jacqueline and, um, Hardcore Holly, and I can recall when Hardcore Holly and Crash was fighting on top of that truck, and Hardcore Holly was asking Crash, are you okay? And they just kept fighting on her. You know, that's what the good things about professional wrestling. You know? So, um, I'm trying to get my true emotions out in, these, in this video. So, um, wrestling as a whole, that whole World Wrestling Federation thing then was awesome to me. It was just amazing. Kane was awesome. The Undertaker and the Big Show had the Tag Team Championship at that time. It was like I was watching some icons on TV. You know? And then... Um, I just started loving the WWF. I just started loving it. Like, like it was just magical to me. Like it was just, uh, like, I was just becoming so infatuated with the WWF. You know? <coughs> you know what I'm saying? I was just coming into this world of my own. Like, really, this is, this is cool. This is cool to watch. And I would brag about it. And I would like go to school and 
in 10th grade and try to be the rock. <laughs> I really did, man. Like, I wanted the girls at school to see me acting like the rock. You know, I tried to dress like them. I tried to act like the rock. I had to try to talk like the rock. I thought, if I act like the rock, and just maybe, maybe I can get a girlfriend. Or maybe somebody would like me. And I wanted everybody to like the rock. I just did. Like when I go went to school or whatever and I go to class and I try to start like the rock and maybe see like if the girls would notice me. <laughs> that's stuff you do as a kid and that's a part of professional wrestling. You know, I I would draw the rock on my on the back of my papers and I just wanted to be the rock. You know, I just I just wanted I'm kind of going down memory lane here. Um, I just wanted to be that guy, you know. Uh, but uh, Stone Cold Steve Boston had got hurt uh, at SummerSlam, and Triple H had shattered his knee into itty bitty pieces. I can recall hating Triple H. I just could not stand that guy, you know, and. Uh, <laughs> It was just a point where um, this dude was just, he was just ruthless. That's what I thought of Triple H. His character was just ruthless.